familiar face is on his way here. Hey guys, Dusty Becker across Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. We've got the big fella, Big Joe, and Eleanor's out here with him. They're hanging out together. So you've got Big Joe, our big breed bull. Don't forget about Dunbar. We're about to go see him in a second. And then you got our princess, Eleanor. By the way, I want to thank EcoFlow for sponsoring today's video. We'll talk about EcoFlow here in a little bit. Probably knows I have cubes, so that's where she's coming up to see me okay here she is hey girl whoa hey eleanor big joe and eleanor you've been in the mud I see. Hey, big guy. The flies are back. We've got to get this handled. Marissa and I are going to go to the ATV. I've got it parked over here. But that reminds me, I've got some more treatment capsules. The paintballs, basically. And so, he's forcing me back in my truck here. But we got to go get the paintball gun. The vet gun, actually, and we've got to knock some of those dudes out. It's been heck fighting them things. Big Joe, we'll be back. I think he wants something. Eleanor does too. You too, buddy. Hmm? I'll get you some cubes, I promise. We'll cube you, okay? I go get the gun first. Yeah, I go get the vet gun first, and we'll be back. Okay. We had the ATV down here because I've been doing some brush cleaning. I rented a Marshall tree saw and uh, so been doing some brush clean up, big project, but I'll show you that. That'll be on another upcoming video, but I had the ATV down here because I've been on the skid steer, but, um, and the gun, the vet gun is in the ATV. So, but little change of plans before we go and treat the Dunbar herd and visit them a familiar face is on his way here and we've got to go back up to the front because he's bringing something over that uh we're gonna try to use at the ponderosa so we're gonna run back to the front real quick talk to him and uh show you guys what he's bringing us and you guys you guys may recognize this guy So, my brother-in-law, Daniel, from Arms Family Homestead, got this awesome precision super seeder from Woods last year, and he got it a little late, so he wasn't able to really use it that much on his deer plot, and we just recently brush hogged this 20 acres in pasture two, and I thought, hey, you know what? Let's try a cover crop this year, so maybe we can have some forage for our bison over the winter. So, here he is. So because I don't have a tractor at the Ponderosa yet, and just a skid steer, Daniel brought his TYM tractor along with the drill. So what's our cover crop going to be? Well, I had Ethan McJames at the NRCS here locally in Sulphur draw us up a mix ratio for this 20 acre paddock. For this mix, we're going to do 50% annual rye. We're doing 
30% crimson clover, 10% hairy vetch, and 10% oats. I'd also like to thank a CTB follower for sending us a portion of the seeds that are going to be used in this mix today. Thanks, Jim. This is not the type of tool where you just throw in your seeds, hop on your tractor, and go. There's some actual math behind all this, and it takes some time to mix your seed and make sure you're getting the right percentage and ratios of your mix before you start. This being my first time to use a super seeder, I've got a lot to learn. All your compartments, primary, native, legumes. The hardest part is you gotta calibrate it. You gotta do a little math. I'm not great at it. I was a history teacher, not a math teacher. So we've got red clover, but it's not gonna go in this box. We've got annual ryegrass. So we're gonna go off of our seed rate. It's gonna be a 90 right here. This, let's see, red clover. We're gonna go at eight. And hairy vetch right here at 30. This is a seed rate per pounds per acre. This is pounds per acre. That's what we're gonna do. We're seated up and ready. We're gonna give her a little trial right here. A little test trial run right here in what we call our trap. Where our girl likes to be. Oh yeah, it actually does till it up pretty good. All right, so now we adjusted the till on it. This is kind of more of a deer plot sort of way of tilling. Um, chickens are already coming in here looking for seed. Turds, get out of here. So now we've adjusted it. We're gonna raise up the till a little bit. And now we're gonna try another run right here. Next to us. Yeah, way less. See the seeds? Yeah. Way less of a till. Huh? Daniel and I just ran two test runs and I think we got the right setting for pasture too. We don't want a lot of tillage on this native pasture, so I think we got the right setting for it. And we, what we really want is the ground broken up barely and then the actual cedar to do its thing and then be pressed in to the soil. So I think it's time to give it a go. It's not, I wouldn't say a full no-till drill. It's got some different capabilities, probably mostly used as a deer food plot. However, there's some features on this that have no-till capabilities and no-till features. And now it's time to get after it. While I'm driving, I'm going to get some drone footage, of course. Marissa's phone's dead. She's out here with me. She's going to video a little bit and hang out and be some good company while I'm running this thing. But uh, we've got the EcoFlow out here with us to charge everything. EcoFlow came out with something new. So I've had EcoFlow Delta for about a year now. Then EcoFlow surprised us and came out with the Delta Max, which has got more input and more output. Recently, Marissa and I went to a concert and we took our RV up there to the Born and Raised Fest up in Pryor, Oklahoma. We listened to some of our favorite country music artists for a couple days. We took the Delta with us. It comes in so handy there because you could be there and all the RVs around you, it's so loud. All the gas generators running everything, you couldn't hear ours at all and it's just so quiet no fumes no gas we even used our solar panels we put on top of the rv now we've got the max and we're out here i'm gonna get on this tractor and do some no tilling i'm gonna let my drone charge because it, it actually is dead marissa's phone is dead where's your phone huh we need to charge it and uh, get it charged and then we are uh three percent oh, so we gotta get marissa's phone charged while this is all charging we're gonna get to work whether it's a disaster preparedness, an emergency, or while you're out in the field, you want to charge your equipment. The Delta II Max is a 2400 watt gas-free solar generator. It's ideal for home backup or replacing a 2000 watt gas power generator. Dish the gas and go solar. Fume-free and quiet, maintenance-free, and you can safely use it indoor or outdoor. This solar generator has no fumes, noise, or maintenance. You can power up to 99% of your home appliances. 
Replace the noisy and smoky gas generator at your campsite to back up your RV essentials when shore power is limited. So we could have two solar panels hooked up to this. In this case, since we're sitting here, we're gonna use our charger here. So you got six AC outlets. You've got your 120 volt. This is like what you would plug in in your office or your home, your standard wall outlet. Guys, let's fall into savings with EcoFlow. You can save up to 52% during EcoFlow fall sales promo. Get an exceptional Amazon deal of the day offers from October 10th through 11th. Check out the links and use my code EFPFCTBS to get an extra 5% off all deals except flash sale products. Only valid until October 15th. Enough time on the tractor. I'm gonna take a little break from it and Marissa and I are gonna go treat the Dunbar and Haas herd. And I think it's time for Marissa to shoot the bison this time. Marissa and I are just pulled into the Dunbar Haas herd, the old hay meadow. They hear the ATV and they just start coming over the hill. It's an awesome thing. But I've been trying to handle the fly thing. Uh, we've poured cubes out. We've sprayed them out of a one gallon sprayer. We've put permethean on it and here they come. But uh, been doing that. Uh, we've tried that. When, as soon as you spray them, they take off. And it's hard to get those bulls, but the horn flies, that's what this fly is. H-O-R-N, horn flies. The horn flies is the most dominant one. The bulls have it the worst. And I've always said that, and some of these two-year-old heifers have it too. But one thing that I do like, and you know that it hits them because you can watch it, is the gun, right? Not too long ago, me and Cole and Eli went and purchased this. It's a vet gun, is what it's called. And went and bought this at a local feed store and loaded it with these little capsules. And I thought, well, this would be a great way to try to knock some of these flies down. And then you can look at the box and it says right there, horn flies. It's abamectin insecticide capsules for control of horn flies on beef cattle and non-lactating dairy cows. Now, you don't find a lot of stuff that says bison on it, right? Never. I any sort of... Uh, vaccine, worm, or anything it never says bison on it. So we go off of beef cattle or dairy cattle. Same thing, right? Not really. But those are the comparisons. Anyways, this worked well for us. We noticed after three or four days, the horn flies are slowed down a bunch on the bulls. But I think this only lasts, this treatment's only last three or four weeks, and you got to do it again. Well, we've done past that point. We did the capsules first, and then we sprayed them, and we've done that a couple times. It's not near as effective because they just run off. As soon as it hits their back, they react and run off. Dunbar does it. Haas hates it because those are the two I tried to get the most. But I do like this gun, so we're going to load it back up, and we're going to try it again. Here comes Dunbar. Marissa and I are going to pour out the cues, get them lined up, and then we're going to drive back through them and hit them again with this, and we'll see how it goes. And we're going to go ahead and load up because once you feed them, they gives you time because they pause to eat, gives you time to pull up and hit them. Is there another one? Yeah, it looks like maybe one will fit in there. Hey girl. Oh yeah, it does. That looks a lot better. 
suck his eyes doing so much better. You know, and I had a couple couple people comment about um, he looks a little thin right now. Yeah, we get them hay every other day. They get a full bell of hay for these 24 out here. They get cubes about every other day. So we'll go hay, cubes, hay. They're in this hay meadow. It still has a lot of native grass in it. Now it doesn't have a lot of load protein-wise. But this guy's been busy. He's been fighting off the young bull, Haas. That's one thing who's right behind him back there. And then he's also been chasing these females. He's basically responsible for breeding 22 females because him and Haas make 24. So he's worn out. He's been going at it for two and a half months, basically late July. We're coming into October now. I mean, he's uh, he's been working. He's been busy chasing these females because he'll, he'll get one that's in heat and he'll stay with her for a long time. And I say a long time, a couple of days, he'll stay with her and he will quarter until, you know, he does his thing, hopefully. And in the meantime, he's got a thought off hoss right back here uh, from breeding those females that come in heat. So he's been a busy guy, but we're working on putting some weight back on him. This happens in nature and it happens on all ranches and everything. All right. Hey, big boy. Oh, that one stuck to him. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. This is less stress on him. To be honest with you. Oh, there's Hoss. Get off. Hoss. Maybe not when I think he's you need to shoot. Maybe when he's not yeah, straight here. at us. What, am I switching sides? Yeah, hit him right there when it's really bad. What, do I just hit Just this? squeeze the trigger. You better hurry. Oh, that busted. Okay, hold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got jammed up in the barrel. Sorry. Worry about it. You say it all the time. You just can't ever come out here and just work. Can't. There's hey. always a problem.
Okay. It's your turn, honey. Okay, well. But if you wait, it's possible. All right. <laughs> Can you drive? Yep. on that car right there. This one? She's got the... 1504? Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Oof. Too many. I that one right there with all the flaps. This one? Yep. Got Dude. her! Golly! I don't know. It seems it cruel, but... It does. It feels kind of aggressive. It just hurts them for... It just scares them, mostly. It doesn't even hurt them, probably, that bad. Just... I mean, it scared me, too, if something come out of nowhere. And... I mean, have you ever been paintballing? Oh, yeah. It doesn't feel been? great. Sure. Got her? Yeah. She's got him bad right here. 1505. Oh. <sighs> Busted Are you in there. Serious? I'm sorry. What am I doing so wrong? You. Here, we gotta check it first. Same, he's right down here in front of us. He's got some sort of skin issue. I don't know what it is, but. functions you better take it oh no wait he's gonna turn his butt to you he'll turn back around now you got him stop push the brake he'll turn for you yeah yeah you missed him again are you kidding me okay let's get you a little closer what you know that there's a thing right here and here it's a sight all right now he's standing side profile for you one more shot. Well, you got his belly. A little low, but that's what you got him. Good job, baby. Only Go ahead and shoot Dunbar. One more time. Times. Yeah, it's okay. It happens. Scoot up a little bit. Say you made up for it. All right there. You hit him right where all those flies are. There are a lot of flies. A lot of flies. Yikes. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now what? You got a couple more balls? You got a couple them? more. He finds, there's one in the side profile. Does she have? That's Bobby. Little stubby tail. Right there in front of you. terrible. She doesn't? Okay. Well, I don't see one on her. See? Hard, like nothing on her. Some on her belly. Oh, she's got some this here. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, go ahead and get her. Got her. Good job. You see, it just scares him for a second. It's not bad. Okay, I don't know. There's a couple more. Uh, you got Are a couple more? Big Joe or no? Yeah, save him for Big Joe. That's true. Yep, let's do that. Two left, maybe, or one? I can't tell. Uh, you should have two. You can look in here. That's nice, isn't it, folks? Let's just point the gun right at me. But really, you to make sure we had some problems this morning. I found a there was a ring in there, an O ring that was keeping them from sliding down, but. Definitely uh, put on safety first, maybe, but it's not gonna go off. Um, but we got it. We got him now. Yo, just look out for your wife. This was the first time I've ever used a superseder. This is awesome. It worked out great. And uh, now it's just a waiting game to see how that's going to turn out. Second thing is uh, Marissa and I had fun this morning. We got to work on our uh, vet gun shooting. Those uh, 
yeah, it's kind of like a paintball essentially, but um, shooting those capsules, we got to work on our aim and it's okay. It's our first time to do it and it's not like we go out and do it every day. I mean, the first time I shot it, I missed. And so, um, you know, it's part of it. You may have lost a couple and, you know, they're, they're not cheap, but uh, anyways, <laughs> we got them treated. We got Dunbar and we got Haas treated, which is what we wanted to do. And it's just fun to, and I'm very blessed to have my wife out there with me wrenching with your wife it's uh it's fun it's fun <laughs> oh yeah i get to spend lots of time together but um no it's nice to uh work together and she helps me a bunch so i'm glad she's able to do that with me so anyways uh, i'm sure some of you guys are out there like i don't know how you do it but hey you know we we, we make it work <laughs> it's not always butterflies and roses but we make it work and uh we know there's a goal in mind and uh we always try to reach it every day and do it together so anyways also want to thank ecoflow for sponsoring today's video the delta max is the real deal hey guys you can help support us by clicking the link in the description below but ecoflow website or through amazon and you can save up to 52 percent during the ecoflow fall sales promo check out the links and don't forget to use the code efp f c t b s to get an extra five percent off all deals something i think that we need to do and uh asked for this uh, so what do you think she said i think it's a great idea and kevin too suggested it so uh i think i think it'd be a great idea if we let the big joe herd out they're down there waiting to get in this 20 acre paddock that i just did a cover crop on so i think we need to let them out there and let them beat up the ground a little bit, maybe cover up some of that little bit of cultivation that happened, a little bit of tilling in the ground a little bit. I think we need to let them put them natural big hooves, break it back in, push those seeds down a little bit. What do you guys think? I think so. I think it's a great idea. Let's go let them out. We'll show you that next time. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you guys for watching this. We'll see you soon.